Hi folks, John Cordisco back again. Another video from World Chess Candidates 2018. Another great, great game. Great game. As White, Alexander Grishuk from Russia. Someone I like a lot. I think Alex is, they call him Sasha. He's, he's a cool guy. He's got a real dry sense of humor if you see him in some of the press conferences. Hey, he's, he's really comical. He's also a world-class poker player, I hear. And his black, Wesley So, from the United States. Of course, i got to go for Wesley, and I like Grishuk, too, so I don't know what to do here, but we'll see how this works out. It's going to be a close Sicilian. Grishuk is white, so is black. We'll go through the opening a little bit here. We'll just go through it. Everybody's seen this. Close Rui Lope a million times. Pretty much all this is standard. You got to move the rook back to f8 because of the knights on g5. But eventually it gets moved. So we'll go to here. We're on move 14. Pretty much standard stuff. Computer off screen has a small advantage for white. I'm an e4 player myself. I've been experimenting around, but I'll tell you, I am so damn tired of playing e4 as white and black plays the French. I hate the French. I hate playing it. I hate playing against it. I just don't like it at all. So I'm seriously considering either c4 or d4 as white. But anyway, that's me. Carwana decides to go d4. Open it up a little bit. He takes. Now, I'll be honest with you. I'd probably play knight takes in a second. Queen of d3 is also interesting as well. But pawn takes for Caruana, or excuse me, for Grishuk. I'm using Caruana as white than the last video must be something that Sasha was working on because now it isolates the pawn. I'm not sure what the reasoning was on that. Of course, some of these guys, they know there's so many sidelines and so deep that they use these computers. must be his computer, of course, is way better than mine, which I'm sure it is. H6 to kick the knight. The knight goes back to E4. Rook F to E8. Bishop D2. Pretty much finishes their development. Knight goes back to f6. You really don't want that knight here. He's a big pain in the behind. He can go all over the place here. But also, you got to watch out for too is when this knight moves, this is a powerful bishop right here. So we'll see how this goes. Rook to c1. He decides to get rid of it. Well, those of you that were wondering about knight takes d4, here's what would happen. Knight e5 hitting the queen. Queen moves. Knight takes f7. You can see this is going to be a disaster. Bishop takes. Knight takes the queen. All right, it's over. <laughs> so those free pawns aren't always so free. After knight takes, rook takes. Bishop f6 hitting the isolated pawn. And he swings the rook over to g4, and I like that a lot for Grishuk. Grishuk is a very unconventional player, which I like a lot. Now, of course, you see the immediate threat is bishop takes. But that's a very interesting way to getting your rook in the action. We'll see how it works out. Wesley just moves his king over, get out of it. And now he goes rook to c5. Another really interesting way. Now he's going to swing his other rook over. I find uh, his play here really, really creative and really fascinating. Now the computer likes knight d7, and so do I, actually. Because you can get the knight back into the defense. Covers this square. Could even come here if he has to. But he made what I call 
a very, very casual move and a very, very human and obvious move. Rook A to D8. And that is a blunder. Because after he won knight D7, if bishop takes, G takes, that would have been a lot better. He's won rook A to D1, or excuse me, D8. Now the queen just slightly goes. Now this knight is frozen. You move, boom, you lose a piece. The knight takes. Knight takes. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Bishop e4 is the computer's move. But he played a side to go rook there. Rook to c7, hitting the queen. Queen takes the knight. Now the material is even again, but the damage has already been done. Grishuk is just has him. It's almost five point advantage. Bishop e3, hitting the queen, picking up another tempo. He decides to play rook takes. And I like bishop takes queen. Bishop takes d4. It's the computer's number one move. Number two is h takes. But he decides to take the rook, which I'm really, really surprised. Now, if I know Grushuk, he's probably in time trouble where I move 27. So he took, well, he took the rook. Got to remember, too, that the bishop here is still hanging as well. Queen e4, try to save the bishop. f3. Now there's nowhere for the queen to go to guard. Now the rook takes the bishop. It's a full piece up. Bishop takes, big deal. Queen to f1. Fascinating move. And the computer's second choice. Queen to b1 was the computer's first choice. Queen f1. F6, he's just trying to shore up his defenses, but it's too late. He's down a piece. Queen F2. Bishop E5. F4 to hit the bishop. Now he's just getting his pieces in, in play. And he goes G5, just open it up. Queen E4, trying to stop everything. Now those you're wondering if he had taken. After F takes, Queen C3. G takes, queen checks, queen f1, queen takes, king takes. He's doomed. After queen e4, queen f3. I mean, what can he do? He can't trade queens. He's down a piece. Queen goes back. Queen goes to e4. Queen f3. I don't know why he repeated, but he eventually went. Maybe he's getting low on time. It's a 30 second increment in the uh, time control. Bishop b4. Queen e2. It's over. He's just getting his pieces lined up for the kill. Now he goes back. Peck the rook. Queen goes. King goes to g3. He's, he's had it with the checks. F takes. And I was surprised he didn't play f takes. But he moved the king instead. Not the most accurate move. Now that was move 40. So he got his time. But F takes is almost three points higher than king to h2. But he went there anyway. Queen comes up. Rook f7. Queen g6. And here comes, here comes the grief. Now pawn takes, bishop checks, king h3, and now he just gave it up. I mean, what's he going to do? If pawn takes, bishop takes, queen takes, rook, and if the queen goes here, Check and you gotta give up the queen. And it's made on top of it because of the bishop guarding the escape square. 
Well, well done. Very creative at the middle game there with the two rooks, the double rook lift, which is very rare. Even though I felt bad that Wesley lost now, this is two losses in a row for Wesley. He lost game one against American Fabiano Caruana. So he's he's really hurting. This is his first candidate. He's young. He'll be back. But Grishuk, got to love it. Creative guy. Found a way to win. So anyway, folks, there it is. My game from round two. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you to all my subscribers that stuck with me. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while. I appreciate the loyalty. I'm, I'm very happy that the guys are stuck with me still did. Until the next video, like I always say, if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.